In today's video, I will be traveling one billion years into the future. But you guys totally will become a billionaire if you guys leave a like on today's video. That is just a proven scientific fact. We're going into the future. 10,000 years into the future, what would planet Earth look like? Okay, I don't think planet Earth would look like that 10,000 years into the future, but uh, who am I? You know, I am just a simple time traveler, guys. I gotta put on my super smart time traveling glasses. Now you have to believe every word that I say. Would most of its surface be covered in volcanoes? Maybe. Or would it be frozen in ice? It, it could. It very what well could. You traveled even further to one million years in the future. One million years. Would all of the oceans have evaporated? Well, I can't tell or you, but I will later. Giant water world. No, Statue of Liberty, no. Yeah. What about one billion years? One billion years! Would there be any humans left? I don't think so! Or would they have settled in other parts of the galaxy? Uh, yeah, you guys, I, I, I want to point that out. If we do not settle in other parts of the galaxy before one billion years is up, it's over for humanity. This is what if, and here's what would happen if you traveled one billion years into the one. future. One billion years. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we hop into this, I want you guys to comment down below what, what you think the world is going to look like a billion years in the future. Now, don't skip ahead and then go back and then comment. I know some of you guys will do that just to look cool and smart and epic, but do not do that. That is cheating. You're a little rat. Was that Scarlett Johansson? Let's face it. The chances of any humans being around to greet you when you arrive one billion years into the future are pretty low. Sad. Several so sad. Existential threats face the human race, and if we want to be around in one billion years, we'll need to endure them all. We've seen how much we've struggled to come together just to survive a global pandemic. So how do we have any chance of enduring the threats of climate change, overpopulation, global nuclear war, killer asteroids and comets, natural ice ages, and the sun getting a whole lot hotter? Well, let's take a look into the future and find out. 10,000 years. 10,000 years from now, we're going to run into a big problem called the Deca Millennium Bug. Okay, what did he just say? The Deca Millennium? What? Is that going to be like a virus? In the year 10,000 AD, software encoding the AD calendar year won't encode dates with more than four decimals. <laughs> Wait, what? Remember Y2K? Yeah, it's just like that. Except, hopefully, we won't panic as much this round. On the bright side, in 10,000 years, genetic differences and traits between humans will no longer be regional. Traits like skin and hair color will be evenly distributed around the world. Oh, that's pretty Maybe cool. That will help us all get along. Finally. So he's basically saying that because the entire world is becoming more, I guess, diverse, like people that were born in one place are traveling to a different place, and then, you know, they're having their own offspring, and then that just keeps happening, and by way of that, the world just becomes more and more diverse. It's like a giant melting pot of just all different types of people, species, or not species, that would be strange, I take that back, just different types of people and cultures blending together, and then people are just gonna kind of start to look more and more like one another than different. 20,000 years into the future, none of the current languages will be recognizable. Huh? Future languages Wait, really? will only contain 1% of the core vocabulary words of their present day counterparts. Are you telling me brain rot is going to become that bad that we're going to forget all of our languages? Are you serious? 50,000 years from now will mark a new glacial period for the Earth. That's not good. A new ice age. Niagara Falls will have eroded into Lake Erie completely. Wow. And interestingly, a full day on Earth will also increase by one second at this point in time. <laughs> oh, whoa. So time whoa. <laughs> what am I going to do with my extra second? Because I'm totally going to be living because I'm a time traveler. In 250,000 years, the Lo'ihi volcano will rise above the water to form a new island in Hawaii. And in 500,000 years, it's likely that an asteroid with a diameter greater than one kilometer will huh? Earth. Okay, Unless I'm not time traveling there. 
Yeah, space lasers. Yes. Laser will be no less than 400 kilometers across. Oh. Start fires all over the planet and make the air unbreathable. Okay, so what you're basically saying is we have to start a a timer now. And we have to either make space lasers that can uh, d d cut up a space asteroid, or we have to abandon Earth and get to Mars. Or better yet, what if we make, like, space rockets and we can move the asteroid out of the way? I am a genius. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I am an actual genius. So there's something to look forward to. And in case that's not enough, in one million years... We'll likely have another super volcano eruption. Ooh. Large enough to spew out 3,200 cubic kilometers of ash. And I'm pretty sure that would be the super volcano that is Yellowstone National Park. I don't want to scare anybody out there that did not know this, but for those of you guys that have been living under Patrick's Rock, D Yellowstone, where they have like the old faithful geysers and stuff, that is actually a giant, super massive volcano that hasn't, you know, exploded. But if it does, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. It's going to be like me after I have six Chipotle burritos. That level of bad. It would produce enough lava to fill 75% of the Grand Canyon. Oh, cool. It'll this just go there. Similar to the Toba eruption that almost wiped out humanity 70,000 years ago. I did not know about that. And the nearby star Betelgeuse will have exploded into a supernova by this time. Not Betelgeuse, no! Don't they say his name three times. From Earth, even during the daytime. Wow. In 2 million AD? Humanity will have settlements throughout the solar system. Really? This awesome. This also means that if populations on different planets have remained separate, humans what was that? have evolved into other species. Wait, wait, wait. How? A specific world. What? In 10 million years, a huge part of eastern Africa will not, break off. Not the elephant. A new ocean basin. No. In 50 million years, Africa will collide with Eurasia, closing off the Mediterranean Sea, and a new mountain range will form between the two land masses. Is it just me, or does like it blow your mind that it, like right now, technically, we are on a on a piece of land that is just slowly moving. It is just slowly shifting, but we can't feel it because it's so slow. And also, too, when you think about it, we are shifting on a piece of land on a giant ball floating through space at like a bajillion miles per hour. If you think about it too hard, you might hurt yourself. This I have done that. may include a mountain taller than Mount Everest. Out in space, Mars will collide with its moon. Oh, that, sorry, Mars. <laughs> in it, developing a ring system. Like <laughs> Wait a second, so does that mean that Mars is like cooked? <laughs> Can we not go to Mars anymore because it's going to get hit by an asteroid moon? Like Saturn's. <laughs> is anywhere safe in 60 million years the canadian and american rockies will have eroded entirely hey what what a glow up in 80 million years all bye bye hawaii will be below the water sorry hawaii and that might happen a lot sooner with global warming so uh yeah r.i.p hawaii eventually sorry hawaii million years. if you're in hawaii you probably already know that so i if I am the first person to tell you that, I am so sorry. An asteroid similar to the one that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago will likely hit Earth. Are you kidding me? One that is 10 kilometers wide. Also, how do how do the In scientists know that? In million years, all of Earth's continents will be fused together like Pangaea. Another Pangaea? Time, it will be called Pangaea Ultima. <laughs> what? Don't get too attached to it, because in 400 to 500 million years, Pangaea Ultima will separate again. Oh, cool. New map unlocked. Fortnite, Chapter 4. 500 to 600, 500 million, to years. 600 million years. A gamma ray will likely occur within 6,500 light years from Earth. So you're telling me when I am 500 million years old, we're going to get attacked by aliens? If what? it strikes Earth, it could damage the ozone layer and trigger a mass extinction. What? 600 million years from now, the moon will be so far from Earth that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. 
And I'm guessing, too, that's probably going to affect our oceans. That is, if we even have oceans after we get blasted with plasma rays. And the sun's increasing luminosity. The what? Illuminati? On Earth so much that it could halt plate tectonics movement. In 800 million years, carbon dioxide levels will drop dramatically. Oh, God. Photosynthesis will no longer oh. be possible. My God, the plants are anti-spiraling. Ozone will disappear from the atmosphere. No. And complex life on Earth will die. And finally, in one billion years, the sun's luminosity will have increased by ten percent. The Illuminati the has struck again. Will be forty-seven degrees Celsius. Oh my God. Our atmosphere will feel like a damp greenhouse, and oh our oceans my God. will evaporate. It's not habitable. Pockets of water at each of the poles. It's an apocalypse. Dear Lord, what about the fishies? Well, when you arrive here in your time eh. machine, be mentally prepared to take in a planet Earth that looks nothing like the one you remember. I think my time machine might burn as soon as I land. Be gone. Wow. Hopefully living its best life on some other far off planet. Because of the intense heat, lack of water and lack of breathable air, Earth will be uninhabitable. So you're basically telling so me Wally was a documentary. Instead, you should head out to see the rest of the solar system. Maybe you'll find your fellow humans there. 